away. We only have two days to have the first game of the tournament between Cote d'Ivoire and Guinea-Bissau in that first game. But uh, the Black Stars will be making an appearance. And yesterday, uh, that is on Wednesday, the Ghana Black Stars money the to FM travel from Kumasi directly to Cote d'Ivoire. And they arrived in the early our uh, early afternoon uh, in Cote d'Ivoire for the 34th edition of the African Nations Cup. The 40-minute trip was via Air Cote d'Ivoire, the official airline partner of the tournament. The team was met on arrival by a cultural troupe amidst drumming and dancing of the Kitty Fontum from N. Adwa, a royal court dance drumming that originates from the Akan people of Ghana. All the players were clad in different shades of Kinti on white uh, short sleeve jumpers and shorts with royal slippers. Now the Black Stars were later driven to the Pullman Hotel in Abidjan where they will be based during the group stage of the tournament. Well, very, uh, very, very nice and beautiful outfits there for the Black Stars who were clad in those beautiful kente cloths over the jumpers. Now former Ghana goalkeeper Fatal Dauda has shared a word to the team if they want to succeed at the African Nations Cup. These are the values they need to cherish. Yes, they have the potential. But when I was... When I was with the national team, especially, especially 2015, it was a very difficult game, in the tournament, till we went to the final, it's attitude, character, self-belief, and unity that kept us in the game and even took us to the uh, final. I'm not in the blaster now. I don't know the situation now. You know, apart from uh, tactically, technically, uh, uh, physically, and other things, this thing that I mentioned plays part when it comes to group or national team. I'm just, I don't know. If, if this thing is not in the national team now, what I mentioned, they should add it. Trust me, things will be better. Fatal Dauda there, yes, telling the team to make sure that unity reigns uh, together with uh, so much discipline they can achieve. Now the team went through their first training session in Abidjan successfully with all players partaking in the session. Mohamed Kudus, Abdul Salih Samet and Antoine Semenyo who were all having a series of knocks and illness all Three took part in the training session. The Black Stars are drawn in Group B alongside Cape Verde, Egypt and Mozambique. They will open the campaign with a game against Cape Verde on Sunday the 14th of January 2023 at the Felix Hofe Boigny Stadium. Now, uh, so hopefully the Black Stars would do as proud better than they did at the 2021 African Nations Cup that was played in Cameroon in 2022. Now moving away from uh, national team football, let's get into some club football in the Ghana Premier League. Medea Maesi played another outstanding Ghana Premier League match yesterday at the Akun Park and they defeated Great Olympics by one goal to nil. Yes, I uh, uh, Mamoudou so, yeah, managed to score the sole goal separating the two sides. So Great Olympics losing away to Medea now, Dreams FC also recorded a 3-1 victory over Bofua Quatano. Ajanin Boateng scored a uh, one goal there. And then Abdul Aziz Isa was on target. He scored twice. Winfred Tomon is the assistant coach of Dreams FC. It was a very difficult game, a hard game for the past four games. In fact, since we returned from the Africa, our results has not been consistent. Right? The last home game we played here, we struggled to even drew with Accra Lions. We play out a 1-1 game. So we knew very well that this game, we need to respond. And the response must be solid. And clearly we showed with character, we showed with determination. We imposed ourselves on them. We scored two goals in the first half. Yes, they also managed to pull one. Second half, the plan was to make sure we get a pushing goal. And that is why I reacted in that manner because the third goal was the killer. The third goal was what, you know, confirmed a solid performance and a solid result. It was a deserving game. But Bofokwa is not an easy side. Bofokwa wasn't an easy side, but Winfred Dormont continues to be impressed with the strength of Dreams FC's attack. Abdulaziz Isa and then uh, Ajanin Boate, but he hopes that John Entry, with his experience, will start scoring soon to help the team. A rehearse goal from the last training session. I mean, the delivery also from the day was, was, was solid. Early Jenin timing and arriving in the penalty box was spot on and it's good that Ejenim is scoring. We are left with entry and I believe at the right time entry will also start scoring. The good thing is that Aziz is in fantastic devastating form. He's scoring both in the Ghana Premier League, he's scoring in the FA Cup, he's scoring in the CAF uh, Confederation. So I mean it's a good team. Dreams FC is a team that plays expansive football. It's a team that wants to score more goals. And clearly for this game the uh, goal should have even been be more. 
So that is Winfred Drummond there. Now to Tanobo for Aqua head coach John Eduavo, who wasn't really happy after the loss, but he hopes that they will come better in the subsequent games. We played well. I would say their game plan actually worked for them. And we couldn't get our rhythm to play the way we want to play. Some simple slide mistakes in the defense, we considered two added goals. But on the whole, it's, it was a good game. We, we played well, just that they had their chances at this point. When the ball is sent to the attack, our attacker's ability to keep the ball and hold it there and do something with it, that was the problem. And so they easily lose the ball quickly, and then the transition. Before you are aware, the ball gets into a defensive zone. And the defenders have been defending very well, just that they got tired. And as a result of tiredness, they make those simple mistakes. So John Edua for there, but he hopes that their game against Mediama SC on Saturday at the Takoa Kun Park will be a good game to end the first round very well. Sorry, it's not over yet. We still have one outstanding game to play against Mediama uh, coming Saturday. From here, we are going straight to Takoa. We are going to rest there and play the game on Saturday. It is when we are done with the first round, then I can have something to say. So that is Johnny Dua for there. Now let's move away to Accra Lions Football Club and they have announced a partnership with Photon Sports Technologies, a leader in sports tech innovation. This is expected to support the development of speed, agility and quickness for the Lions players. The Ghana Premier League Club have become the first client for Photon Sports Technologies who bring revolutionary 3D technology, a breakthrough that is uh, helping in tracking football key abilities for speed, agility and quickness. Accra Lions physiotherapist Kalei Bryan said partnering with Photon Sports is a strategic move to enhance our team's capabilities using data-driven insights. So very good information there for Accra Lions and I'm sure it's going to help them get better in the second round of the Ghana Premier League. Now away from that, Liverpool yesterday won by two goals to one against Fulham in the EFL Cup. William managed to get the opener but Liverpool came stronger through Cody Gapo and Curtis Jones to make sure that Fulham weren't able to run away with the victory. Now, coach for Fulham, Marco Silva, was happy with his team's performance, saying they'll make a real go of it in the second leg when they get to the Craven Cottage. You cannot have to consider when, when one, we have to be mature enough to control that moment, to manage better the moment. You cannot give a chance for Liverpool after the 1 1 to, to make a fast attack on ourselves when you are 1 1 away from home into legs competition. And this is the, the main thing that we have to learn clear, clear from these moments. Happened the same one month ago for the for Premier League, and really quick we have to learn from these moments. Yes, um, Ben kept us on the, on the game really. Um, that moment was a really tough one for us. Uh, we struggled a bit at last minutes of the, the game. And Bern, um, an amazing goalkeeper that he is, um, kept us on the, on the game, kept the competition open, and the, the, this stage open, and we are going to go for it. At Kevin Cottage, we need our fans there. We need really to, to be at our best level to beat Liverpool. So that is Marco Silva, coach for Fulham now to Liverpool boss Jürgen Klopp and he says his side are deserving of their upcoming days off after yet another excellent comeback victory. Because we didn't play bad, just didn't play good as well. It was a normal game and they go one it up. So we had to adjust there as well. Last line had to protect higher, which is tricky. Jimenez was there, William was there, so it's really tricky. But besides that, we did much better, obviously, and um, created chances scored goals won the game um the boys changed it or turned it around again and i think fully deserved in the end um we won this game but of course it's only first leg and um, we know that we have to go there but for now it's fine that was always clear that there's two legs two tough legs um fulham is still in that will that's the way they will see it that's we know as well so um i know a couple of days off really important and um then we will go so that is Jürgen Klopp there. Now to Real Madrid and an own goal by defender Stefan Savic and a strike by Brahim Diaz late in extra time gave the Los Blancos a 5-3 comeback win over city rivals Atletico uh, in a ripping, uh, uh, devastating game that saw eight goals. Uh, the Spanish Super Cup semifinal in Riyadh on Wednesday. Atletico opened the scoring from a Mario Hermoso uh, finished by Real fought back through Anthony Rudiger and fell on Mandy before Antoine Griezmann equalized in the 37th minute. A mistake by Real Madrid goalkeeper Kepa Arita Balaga, whose attempt at a clean hit made uh, Clarence hit Rudiger 
bounced off uh, him to restore Atletico's lead in the 78th minute. But Danny Cavallar struck late to take the match into extra time with penalty shootout looming. A header bounced off Savage into Atletico's net five minutes from the end of extra time. In the last play of the match, Diaz finished off a counter-attack into an empty net after Jean Oblak went up to Real's box in a desperate attempt to equalize four from the corner kick. So very unfortunate there, very unfortunate one there for Jean Oblak who wanted to do something great and brilliant but unfortunately it ended poorly for his side. Now some other results, Lazio in the Coppa Italia defeated AS Roma by a goal to nil but AC Milan sat at the San Siro and they were defeated two goals to one by Atalanta, very unfortunate one there for uh, that is um, uh, um, uh, AC Milan. Now, a move away from that. Dorival Jr. has been named the new head coach for the Brazil national team after he left Sao Paulo earlier this week. Brazil parted company with interim coach Fernando Diniz on Friday as the 61-year-old Dorival's first matches in Brazil will be prestigious friendlies against England and Spain in March. Uh, those games will be played in Europe. So uh, we expect those games to be played in Europe as uh, Brazil will be looking forward to augmenting their team. They are currently in South America's sixth and final automatic qualifying place for the World Cup in 2026. Uh, so I'm just hoping that things will go on very well for uh, that is uh, his side uh, but uh, he also led Flamingo to the Copa Libertadores title and the Brazil Cup in 2022 before joining Sao Paulo. Now let's stay with some news in Brazil but this time around as for a player and Lucas Paqueta midfielder for West Ham United could be sidelined for at least two months with a calf injury. The Brazilian suffered a recurrence of the issue in Sunday's FA Cup draw with Bristol City having initially been injured against Arsenal at the end of December. So without Kudus Mohamed, West Ham would have a long way to go in trying to keep uh, their players fit. So as it stands now, he may not be able to return in very good time to play the other games well. So we're expecting some recovery for him. Paqueta is set to see a specialist to determine the length of time he is going to be out. Very unfortunate one there for Lucas Paqueta. Now, uh, some worrying news from the Netherlands. And ex-Arsenal uh, winger Mark Overmars has had a suspension from holding a post in that football extended to uh, the global ban by world governing body FIFA. In a statement, uh, the punishment followed his sending a series of inappropriate messages to several female colleagues while he was director of football at Ajax. Overmars is now 50 and left his role in February 2022. He's currently the technical head at Royal Antwerp in Belgium. Now let's do some boxing. And for many boxers, well, it's always been a very different story for them. Leaving the sport is a very big deal. But at 8.46, Bukumbanku has decided to walk away from a sport that has built his personality and given him a good number of fans. Yao Sulabi caught up with him and had the story. People by art in the nation. Every day, Banku, every day, Banku, every day. But all Ghanaians want to beat me and they beat me what again. Ghanaians, they beat me what again. A few years before the Basti fight, he had fought arguably the biggest fight in Ghana since the 1970s with Aite Powers in 2014. The fight was sold out long before the fight date and it was celebrated across the country. Banku has taken stock of his career the best way possible. He won the WBO Africa Light Heavyweight title and then the WBO Africa Cruiserweight title in 2012. After an introspection, he has decided to hang up his gloves. Bossing, uh, I'm doing good for Ghana. I do lots of things for Ghana. I'm a great bosser in Ghana. Everybody knows in this community. Now, when I think, I think I'm grow. So I'm 46 years old right now. So I don't want to fight again. Uh, my Peking Mustafa and Abu Kamoko Tilapia, they want to fight. So I leave everything to them to continue. Listen to them. You see, you see that guy. Hi, hi, hi. Banku has always been the ultimate entertainer. Now on retirement, he is looking to write more songs and perform them to his darling fans in Bukum. 
but most importantly, to train his two sons who are looking to carry the family names. Upper. Mustafa and Abu Tilapia may have heavy shoes to fill, but they are shoes the boys are willing to walk in. Banku never won a world title, but it is his dream that the boys do it. Boxing in Ghana is tough. Albeit a long list of boxers and champions, the facilities these boxers train in are nothing to write home about. Banku called for support from government to improve standards in the sports in Ghana. We need a government to support the Ghana boxing. If it, the government supports the Ghana boxing, everybody gets the happiness to train. When you go to the gym, there is no... We don't have facilities. We don't have bag, pad, everything. We need the government to come and support that thing for, for Ghana because the world champion, the great bosses all day for in this community, Buko. Yes, you should say something, man. For firebrands like Banku, the love for boxing will never die. He may be out of the sport now, but he will always have one eye looking in and leave a hand to help anyone who needs it. TV3, I'm the king of the Buko. Nobody. Say Banku Eba. Well, Bukum Banko finally drawing the curtains on his career. Now, another audacious and charismatic boxer, UK-based Ghanaian boxer Freezy McBones, has chosen to withdraw from the Ghana Boxing Federation team seeking slot for the Olympic Games in Paris 2024. Now, said Jima, as he's originally called, competed for Ghana in Dakar, Senegal last year with hopes of securing a place at the Olympics, but lost to homeboy Seydou Konate in the preliminary stages, albeit under controversial circumstances. The hard-hitting boxer comp promoter was shadows who traveled with the Ghana boxing team to Italy in February, but in a letter, McBones has revealed his intentions to focus on his professional career as well as his promotional venture. While well, Freezy has thanked the Federation for the opportunity to represent his motherland and wish the team well. So Freezy McBones says he will no longer be competing in the qualifiers for the Olympic Games 2024. I have decided to spend the rest of my career developing as a professional boxer and focusing on promoting great events with Magbo's promotions. Well, we just wish him well in his endeavor. Finishing off with golf, Roy McElroy has suggested that golf needs to find a way to create a new world tour in order to grow the game on every single continent. You know, I think everyone needs to start thinking more globally around it, but globally in a in a holistic way, not really like this tour or that tour or another tour. What is the best structure for elite men's professional golf? So, you know, the top 70 to 100 guys in the world. And what, what would that look like? Especially if the game is going to look different going forward and everything's on the table. I, I just think it's worth having that conversation. The PGA Tour has proved over the last 20 or 30 years that corporate America is very interested in the game of golf for a number of different reasons and um you know america is still a huge market for our game but i think because a market america has become such a huge market it's maybe not let other um markets around the world thrive as well and, and if we can sort of all start to work together a little bit more i think you know a, a rising tide lifts all ships or are all boats and um that would be sort of the mindset that i would that i would um i guess come to you know, that thinking of what the best thing is for, for professional golf. Well, there are matches coming up in the Spanish Super Cup. Barcelona play against Osasuna in the other semi final, and in the Coppa Italia, Juventus play against Frosinone. These are the games coming up in Europe's big leagues. That'll be all for sports this morning. My name is Kelvin Owusuan. So thanks uh, for staying with us. But Sunrise continues. Helena Piampo for the rest of the team are here to make sure they serve you some very fine breakfast for your morning. DJ Abiyama, as always, is also present to serve you with some fine tunes. My name is Kelvin Owusuan. So have a brilliant Thursday.